Welcome to episode 1 of what we know so far about Farming Simulator 19. The first news we had about Farming Simulator 19 came about on the 7th of February 2018 when Giants attended the What's Next at Focus Home event. This essentially gave Giants the opportunity to explain their upcoming game to journalists and then they would in turn create their own news articles about the game. This event obviously solidified claims that the Farming Simulator 19 version was on the way, however it didn't really give us much information, until February the 15th, when the very first CGI trailer was released. Now this CGI trailer was quite sneaky in a way, because it did give away a few things, however they were still very careful not to give away the new brand, which of course is a brand which carries the colours of green and yellow. The reason why I say it was sneaky was because this was actually a slightly different version to the later CGI trailer which was released at E3. This is because it left people thinking that the tractor in the keyring was the tractor brand which was going to be coming into the game and the tractor behind clearly has grey rims or silver rims and it could well have just been a brand which already exists in the franchise. So this really was a teaser of a CGI trailer which of course was the intended purpose. We now move forward to March the 9th when the very first in-game screenshot was published. Now this screenshot actually was not only a spectacular screenshot but it did leave a few questions asked and that was mainly what on earth is that tractor in the background? Now a number of people instantly said it's a fence, it's a fence, it's alright. Uh, you don't have to uh, get all excited about it being a John Deere because they're never going to be in the game. You don't need to worry. So. I zoomed into it, many people also zoomed into it, and we then discovered that it was indeed a Fent. This in itself, however, was very good news, because it meant that Fent was staying in the game, which to a lot of people is fantastic. There are a lot of Fent lovers out there. In fact, Fent being part of Agco uh, also pretty much solidified that the Challengers, Massey Ferguson and Vultures would be staying as well. However, this did mean that everybody could calm down a bit, because it would mean that John Deere still was not confirmed. Just a few days later, on March the 15th, another piece of information came out, and in fact this was a comparison between Farming Simulator 17 and 19's graphics. So as you can see here, they actually produced a slider on their website, which still exists to this day, where you can see the difference from the same um, angle and the same place on the map uh, of the difference between 17 and 19. Obviously 19 being much more stunning with their enhanced graphics engine. Now I won't go into too much detail about the actual graphical engine itself because I don't know much about it. However, they did post a list of different things which are going to be integrated into this package uh, which is going to make the overall graphics much, much better. So really, from my point of view, as long as it looks like it does in this slider, I'm going to be quite happy. Moving forward to April the 1st, April the 1st obviously being April Fool's Day. Now Giants have a bit of a tendency of creating April Fool's jokes and then actually bringing them to life, which is quite interesting. Um, this is very interesting actually because uh, the Commodore 64 version appeared to be their April Fool's joke for this year. However, with more news coming out about the release of FS19, it now appears to actually be a genuine thing. And it's actually part of the upcoming Collector's Edition. So, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. I don't know much about it, but could it be true? Is it genuinely coming out? We will see. June the 12th. It's time for the full-length CGI version by Giant Software. This is the Farming Simulator 19 CGI trailer for E3. Now this one definitely gives much more information away. I'll come back to this sign in a minute. But obviously the big announcement, which I'm sure most of you have now seen, is this tractor just here, and in fact the brand of this tractor just here. The wheels have turned yellow, the rims are yellow. What could it be? It's a John Deere of course. So John Deere was confirmed to be in the game, which was absolutely amazing news. I don't know if it was totally unexpected, however I think a lot of people did stop believing that it would ever be part of the game, so this is obviously a huge shock for some people, but possibly quite expected for a number of others. Myself? I was expecting it to come. Sorry, just had to be a bit smug there. So yeah, John Deere is part of the upcoming Farming Simulator 19 game, which is just going to be an absolute delight to uh, use their machinery. As you can see, there's also a new crop type which is cotton, and actually there is oats as well. The oats being made really for the horses, I believe. Horses are now in the game. 
As you can see here, there is some cotton being harvested by some very large Case IH harvesters. So among other things, the big announcement was John Deere, cotton, oats and horses. Now I'm sure that most of the YouTubers and streamers who actually covered the CGI trailer live overlooked the for sale sign to begin with, myself included. Uh, of course it was a very exciting time and yeah, I think everybody was just waiting to see which tractor was in the shed and didn't really look at this for sale sign. However, it didn't seem to get past many of the viewers. They seemed to notice it straight away, which was absolutely fantastic. I know that a lot of uh, players actually head to the forums and also to my comment section and no doubt other people's comment section as well on YouTube and uh, possibly on uh, Twitch and stuff like that to say that there was a for sale sign at the farm. Now, it isn't actually confirmed that you can sell or buy farms. However, it's a pretty good hint. Since the E3 event, and also the CGI trailer, there has been a small amount of extra information which has been published. Now basically, this is the Amazon German site, so Amazon.de, and you can see the Collector's Edition and also the Standard Edition of Land Wirtschaft Simulator 19 is now available to pre-order, also through Amazon Prime. You can also see that the uh, release date is currently set to the 28th of December. This hasn't been confirmed by Giants publicly, however, you never know, it could well be the date. It has been known in the past though for just a random date to be put on games while they're in the pre-release stage. The collector's edition did actually end up being quite interesting to look at because you can see here that there are a number of different things actually included within this edition. The first thing being the Land Wirtschaft Simulator 19 Commodore 64 edition. Now I don't know <laughs> how this is going to go about as I'm sure there won't be a great deal of people who have a fully functioning Commodore 64. I'm sure there'll be quite a few on the shelf in the garage but you just never know. So I don't know maybe it's part of the game maybe you can just load it up through Farming Simulator 19 and it just feels like it's the 64 edition sort of in the same design same arcade game sort of thing. I don't know. I wouldn't really like to speculate because I initially thought it was an April Fool's, but <laughs> how wrong was I? Uh, there's also obviously the, the main game, the main box. There's also a John Deere 7530 model. Now actually, uh, Siku, if that is the correct pronunciation for that, uh, tend to produce these models. It certainly was for the Farming Simulator 17 version. Uh, I think it was Massey Ferguson tractor in that. So interesting to see, nice tractor, um, very good to have. Um, you know, just brings it alive, really. We also have the Land Wirtschaft Simulator hat. I'm assuming there will be an English version of this as well, which will say Farming Simulator. Again, it's not confirmed, but um, yeah, there was for 17. There's also the modding video tutorials on a disc, it would appear. There's five postcards. I think there's 10 stickers, which have the different brands and machinery um, from in the game on. So we've got uh, Roper. I think there's some John Deere in there as well. Yep, there is, and well, no doubt there'll be some Agco stuff or something like that. Can't say for sure, but uh, yeah, you can see there's definitely Roper and John Deere. There are also A2 posters included, and if you look, take a look at the top left there, you can see it says downloadable content, the John Deere XUV865M Gator, which is, uh, I think it's actually newly released. I think it was December 2017, if I'm not mistaken, that model. It's a new Gator, anyway, or fully kitted out uh, with a cab. So that would be very nice to have in the game. Here is a closer look at the box art. As you can see, there is quite clearly the John Deere tractor there, the main focus, but also on the left-hand side, there is the cotton crop. And on the far right-hand side, you can actually see horses with people riding them. Uh, this would appear to be the American map. I'm assuming this is the new American map. There is going to be the overhauled version of uh, Estancia La Pacho. There is the new American map, and also there is a new European map. Again, the European map doesn't actually have any confirmation just yet as to which country it's going to be set in. On the 29th of June, after the E3 event, it turns out that a YouTube channel called Mixer did an interview with Martin from Farming Simulator from Giants, and he confirmed that there were going to be two more features, two more confirmed features, which were birds, which would be flying around and I'm assuming eating your crop. Um, so you'd have to, I, I would assume, 
try and figure out a way of stopping them from eating your crop if it's going to be as in-depth as that. Um, but yeah, the, the fact that there is going to be a bit of wildlife about is very nice to hear. Because, well, one thing with FS17 and all the previous versions is there's not really any wind in the game. And also, you don't see any wildlife. There's no rabbits or birds or anything roaming around the maps. It is pretty much just you and the machines. And the other thing was weeds in the fields. So basically, two pests, <laughs> whichever way you want to look at it. Um, yeah, so it might mean that it's going to be more like the soil mod in FS15, where you had to keep the correct fertilizer applications on the correct herbicide, pesticide, and all that kind of stuff um, to control these weeds. Again, I can't say if that is exactly how it's going to work, but weeds have been confirmed to be in the game. We're now all awaiting more information for Farming Simulator 19, but rest assured, I'm going to be keeping you up to date here, and I'll be also doing standalone updates as well. This is going to be probably every two or three months, depending on how much information comes out, but that is episode number one of What's New in Farming Simulator 19. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.